Hello everybody, welcome back to another Blender tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you the cloth simulator. You guys sure like your simulators, don't you? I've gotten a ton of views on my uh, fluid one, so that was pretty sweet. Okay, but enough talk, let's get started. Delete that cube, because we are not going to need it. And let's add the cloth thing. So add a plane and then scale it up, and scale it up along the Y, uh, right about there. That looks pretty good. Maybe too much. Like that. Perfect. Okay, then come over here and click uh, Add Modifier and Solidify. And we're going to make it just a little bit of a thickness. Let's go right about there. Mm, one more. Right there is good. Okay, so now we have to subdivide this. So go into Edit Mode, then press Control R. Subdivide it there. Then subdivide... Wait, no, 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 no. Go back. Subdivide it twice right here, then subdivide it once right here. We want squares, because if I just subdivided it, I'll show you. If I just subdivided it like that, they would not be squares. They'd be like rectangles, and we don't want that. We want we want um, squares. So control R and do a double one right here, then control R and do one right there. Perfect. Then press A and subdivide it four times. That looks pretty good. Then click the smooth shader. Alright, one more thing. Let's add a subdivision surface and let's just do one and bring it above the solidify. Like that. Perfect. Now you can bring it up to get it out of the way. Now let's add a floor. So press Shift A, Mesh, and Plane. Scale it up. And make sure you do a collision for this plane. You come to the physics panel and click collision. Because last time I tried recording this tutorial, I forgot to do that twice. <laughs> okay, so then press shift A and let's add a UV sphere. Then press 1, 5 to go into front view, then press Z and bring it up to about there. Perfect. And smooth shading. Also, this is kind of low poly, so let's add a subdivision surface for this. So, did you know if you press Control 1, it will add a subdivision surface just like that? Cool, 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 cool. Now, I think we are ready to bake this. Let's bring it up just a little bit. Actually, no, we have to do a lot more stuff. What am I talking about? Okay, go into side view, then press Shift A, force field, wind. That's how I did it, guys. That's how I did it. Oh. Then press G and move it to... Let's go right there. Yes, right there. Then come over to the physics panel and turn the strength up to 200. 200, yes. Then press Shift D, move it to right about here, angle it, then change the strength to 50, like that. Then do another Shift D, bring it to the center, and then angle it up like that and this is going to be 52 oh and also the noise you can change that to 10 on every single one of them so 10 and 10 like that now we have to add one more so press shift D bring it all the way over here and angle it upwards then go into the top view bring it to the side and rotate it right about there okay bring it forward and if I'm going pretty fast and you guys need to pause the video you can come down here and look right here what I'm pressing so if I press R you can see down here it says R so that's just a little thing to tell you alright I think we are ready to bake now yes right click on this and add a not collision add a cloth Add a cloth, uh, whatever that is called, simulations. All right, we gotta change some of these settings. So change the structure to 10, and then the bending to 0.3. Okay. Then the collision, change the quality up to 4. Then turn on self collision because we want it to hit itself. Then the quality up to 3. And one more setting, the distance. We need to change this to 0.05. I think we are ready to bake it. So let's just check to make sure we have everything. Oh, look at that. I almost forgot to do it again. Collision. Add a collision for that. 
then right click yep this guy's got a collision okay cool change the end frame to 200 and then come over here and say change this end frame to 202 awesome that is it you can add a smooth shading for this cloth I think we're good so once you have everything make sure you save it I'm gonna save it to my desktop and I'm gonna call it cloth simulator cloth simulator all right bake it and this is probably gonna take a little bit so I'm just gonna pause the video and wait till it's done okay it is done and that took too long <laughs> way too long so let's test it out why is it doing that hold up oh yes the cloth is supposed to be above everything else that's that's the reason okay um, bake it one more time okay it is done and hopefully this one is good let's try it out boom yeah that's what I want right there look at that and then it falls down sweet that is cool let's test it out in real speed and we can do that by disabling the subsurf modifier it's a little faster but not full speed that's pretty sweet and then the wind pushes it awesome okay let's turn that back on and now the camera the most important part of the scene okay so um, what the crap there we go let's zoom in here and rotate it actually you know what let's get into position in the viewport and then we'll snap the camera so I want the it to be like right about here I would say so then if you want to snap the cursor to your viewport you can press control alt 0 and look at that it snaps it to the center or to where you're looking at so let's bring it up a little bit rotate it right about there just get the uh, the the view that you want and then we can render and see what it looks like okay I think that's good right there let's watch it real quick do, 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 do. that's pretty sweet I like it maybe if we can rotate it like to here let me zoom in just a tad okay rotate it zoom in bring it up I think that's good. Let's see what it looks like. And boom. No, that's fine right there. Maybe a little bit more zoomed in. Um, right about there. All right. Let's scale this plane up just a little bit more. And you guys know what I'm doing, right? I love doing this. Extrude that side up and press Control Five. Add a subsurf. Bring the viewport all the way to 6, the render all the way to 6. Then press Control R and do a loop cut there. Bring it back and right there. And smooth shading. Look at that. You guys know I really like to do that. All right. So now let's do some materials. So the first one is going to be this. So click New. OK, and change this to Cycles because we always use Cycles. Then turn this here and click the node editor and use notes alright first let's do a mix shader with a glossy boom and add a glossy right here then change this to point one okay then let's add a fresnel node that I'm not sure what it does but it like makes it look more clothy I guess and here let's change this to a blue color see what that looks like nice nice doesn't look too bad the glossiness that's let's bring that a little bit darker I think it's like too much uh oh 
what just happened? Oh, I thought it crashed for a second. Cool, cool. Yeah, that's fine right there. Awesome. Let's just leave it. Now for the bottom, or, or not the bottom, the floor. Let's just do a regular mix shader. And right there. And diffuse. Where is that at? Diffuse, diffuse, diffuse. Why can't I? That's right there. Okay. And then a glossy. You know, it's so, it's so hard to find it. I feel like they move all the time in this. <laughs> it's probably just me, though. And changes 2.1. Perfect. Now, one more material. This guy. This is going to be just a pure glossy shader. Like that. And let's play it. And pause it right there. And let's see what it looks like. A shift Z. Pretty sweet, but it's too dark. So let's turn up the world to there. See what that looks like. That's better. I feel like we need to add some shadows. So let's grab this lamp and let's change it to a spot lamp. Let's rotate it all the way this way and place it back over here. And rotate it like that. Boom. And the size is way too big. Let's bring that size down. And use nodes. Let's set it to 1000. See what that looks like. And maybe a yellow, yellow color or something. Yeah, you can kind of see it right there. The blend mode. Let's bring that up. Cool. Yeah, I think it's good. Let's just do a quick render real quick and see how it looks like. So PNG, uh, sampling, let's change this to 100. Clamp 3.3, 3, and uh, I think we're good. Save it, and render. It should go pretty fast because it's only 100 samples. Okay, it is done. And there's just a few things I want to change, like this color of the ball it's way too white so let's bring it down to a darker glossy color like that yeah that's better and then we gotta do a little bit of compositing let's go over to the compositor real quick compositing click use nodes backdrop and let's get rid of these panels okay so let's add a viewer node and I did that by pressing Control shift left click and it snaps a viewer node to that. Oh, what are you doing? No, image. <laughs> there we go. Okay. So, let's add a mix node. Mix. Plug that in right there. And you guys know what I'm doing? <laughs> I do it with everything. A vignette. We are adding a vignette. So, do that. Okay, what I did right there, I went really fast. I added a distort lens distortion, changed the distort to one, and then I added a filter blur node and changed this to fast Gaussian relative Y. I, I don't know if I'm saying that right. Gaussian, I don't know. Change this to 20 and this to 20 and plug that in right there. Then multiply, boom. And it's way, way too good way too strong. So let's turn it down. 0.7? Sure, why not? Okay, next let's add a... I want a color color balance node and plug it in right there. And let's turn this to a blue color. Nice. And change this to like a reddish... No, not that one. Change this one to a reddish color can't really see any difference that's fine whatever I think it's good right there so let's go back to the default view and change this let's first actually we have to set a folder so I'll do that real quick okay so let's set an output right here and that's gonna be desktop cloth simulator boom and make sure it doesn't matter what folder it is but there's, there's gonna be a lot of pictures we're gonna render it as pictures and put them together into an animation so yeah I've said so a lot I should stop saying that <laughs> okay so now we got PNG do to do, do sampling's good rendering is good 
yeah once you set the output you can click animation but first save it always save before you do a render always okay what is this metadata that's a new thing in 0.75 alright render animation boom and this is gonna take like forever because <laughs> it's gotta render 200 frames so yeah I'm gonna sit here for a really long time so I'll talk to you guys later once this is done okay it is done finally that took way too long this is the next day and I rendered it overnight cuz it's 200 frames at uh, 75 samples <laughs> so that took a while anyways let's combine all of those images into an animation so go to the video sequence editor that's right here and then go to frame 1 and click add image then go find it and this is right here all of these images press A to select them all add image boom just like that okay next thing you want to do is change this to mpeg encoding mpeg4 or if you want to do a different file like avr or whatever i like to do mpeg because that's just cool and everything else is good yes then click animation boom and it will sequence the render look at that and it's going pretty fast because all the images are already rendered and look at that pretty cool yeah I'm liking this this is pretty sweet and it should go pretty fast and once it's done that um, this animation will be in the folder that you selected right here so whatever this output is that's where the animation will be at okay so let's watch it real quick play rendered animation look at that there's our animation looks pretty cool huh and the winds like blowing at it and stuff I like it awesome well that concludes this tutorial guys thanks for watching if you enjoyed make sure you leave a like and subscribe and comment on comment if you learned something new and if you made something cool with like this or whatever some wind I would love to see it so post the link in the comments or whatever go to my Twitter um, message me there or whatever yeah that's going to be it. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.